I wanted to share with you today a new income stream that my husband and I are endeavoring on and just give you a little talk about the beginnings of how we started um, changing our life and trying to make money on our own and not working for someone else. As you can see here, we've got a torn down barn. Um, my husband has been working on this, mostly him, because I have to work. Um, <laughs> I, I teach online, so I'm in the house. But anyway, he has been taking the barn apart, saving the wood that he can, um, we'll use it reuse it and then there's also um, the metal roofing we won't reuse that but we will sell it we've sold it before people use it on old goat sheds and things like that for their animals it's cheap so why are we tearing the barn down we have been in uh, about four years ago we started rent a rental uh, business and we worked our way up to four different rentals and while that is a very good income i'm not going to tell you it's not we ended up with rentals that were like an hour and a half away and one of them was close by. That one was very easy, the one that was near our house. And that renter was phenomenal. Uh, she was impeccable, paid on time, everything. And we, um, during COVID, what we decided to do so people would pay, we wanted them to have some skin in the game. We decided to give them the opportunity to buy the property with a lease. So that way they would be paying rent, a couple hundred dollars extra that would go towards the down payment and then they could have some skin in the game, if you, if you will. And that worked very well. The girl that was impeccable came to us and said, hey, after about a year and a half, she said, can we go ahead and try to get a loan? The prices are going up. And we said, absolutely. So she did get a loan. Um, she's still our neighbor, owns the property. We got a very good, uh, made a very good profit margin, obviously, because it was when everything was really high. Um, we are down. Um, the other one we had sold previously too, because it was far away. Um, the other two, um, they also have the opportunity to buy, but it's not been, it's been um, frustrating because if something breaks, it's far away. If they don't pay the rent, you got to go put an eviction notice on the door. So anyway, we started thinking also with the times right now, um, you know, you keep hearing how the, the government's going to come in and tax your money and take your retirement, blah, blah, blah. You, you hear it. You're hearing the same thing I'm hearing and you're like, what, what is true? What is not true? We don't know anymore, do we? So I'm going to believe it. So I have been following some investors that say, put your money into assets. So when my husband, when we sold the one, he put money into assets that will help his business. He does a, he does like a construction service type business. He'll pretty much do anything. Um, so he bought some equipment where he can go out and do driveways. Uh, he hauls for the Amish, you know, whenever they need him. He has one guy that he works for specifically two days a week. And then the other days he'll, he'll just pick up other jobs. So we invested in equipment. So that's all depreciate, you can depreciate all that on your taxes. So it's all tax write-offs. Um, what's this have to do with you what i want to encourage you to do if you don't I, I want to share with you what has changed my mindset and i honestly wish that i knew what i knew now back when i was in my early 20s 30s um because most of you at that age um probably are still with that mindset to go to college and get a degree go uh you know get a job and and work there forever get you know retirement and all that and it's interesting because my oldest daughter and her husband have been very strong on that mindset. And he's done very, very well. Uh, don't it's he's he he makes very good money. Um, but he's looking at his life and saying, "What else is there?" Like I am stuck at this place. So no matter where you are, you could be making sixty thousand dollars a year, a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, whatever it is somebody else controls what you make and it's going to hit everybody at some time so you could be a doctor right now where you've invested your entire life to serving others yet your income is going to be determined based on who you're working for so it has nothing to do with what your income is because i've seen people who make well over six figures a couple hundred times come to me and say I, I can get no higher. This is it. Where do I go from here? And they decide I, I want to do something different. I want to make something for myself, something that I can create, I can control, and I can decide when I go to work, what I do, and how much money I make. And
the joy in being able to do that, no matter how much money you're making now, is that you are in control of your own destiny. You get to choose what you want to do. So where did I get this mindset? One of the things I wanted to share with you is a book that I read years ago, um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I've got a link below. You can help me out on the affiliate link if you'd like. It's not very much, but everything helps. Um, this book was so profound for me that in the book, they teach you to change your mindset about money and about jobs. Um, our culture teaches us to go out and get a job and it doesn't teach us how to create our own destiny. If that makes sense, I'll, I'll let you read it. I don't want to sit here and, and ruin it for you, but it is so profound and it will change the way you think about money. Think about it. You are here on this earth that money is there to work for you. It's not here for you to hoard it away and leave it to someone, right? Why would you work all your life just so you can give it to somebody else? That's a nice thing to do if you end up doing that, but it's there to work for you. Money makes money. Um, you can see all these wealthy people that we have in our society and a lot of them are making money off of money and you they some of them did start with nothing just like where you are and i am um, we have to start from the ground zero but it can be done and you have to change your mindset first though and it is difficult because you're so set in the way that you think and the way you've been taught so i definitely recommend that you get that book read that book now the surprise here you're probably thinking you're just showing me you're riding a skid steer and you're burning stuff and tearing down a barn what are you going to do we are going to take what we have this property and we're going to build a grain bin house and you can see the picture here and in that grain bin house we're, with that grain bin house we're going to rent it as a vrbo a, a vacation rental um, we decided that we would take our assets out of the bank and not leave it there and do nothing and let our money work for us now this is not a good time to be investing in building because building materials are really really high but again am i going to wait and hope that things go back to the way they were or am i just going to move forward from where they're at and create something that's going to give us a good income and also give people a neat place to visit. We have a lot of neat little things around here that people can go visit and um, we're really excited about it. And yes, we've been in rentals. I would rather, I think, rent this way where I can have more control over who's coming and going and I don't have to worry about people paying rent, right? I can, they're going to pay and it's going to be more lucrative. You're getting more money for the same amount of time. So that is what we're planning on doing. I am going to create a series of our progress as we go, but this is where we're at right now. We're looking for somebody to pour the concrete and we've already ordered the grain bin. So we've already had all the evaluations done, but I'll go into all those details in the series. But my goal in this video was to encourage you to change your mindset. Think of something that you can do to get started on your journey to freedom, freedom in choosing how much you can make and what you do. And it, and it isn't easy, but whenever things are not easy, that's when it's more rewarding. Um, when you put some hard work into it, it's much more rewarding. I hope this inspired someone. Let me know if it did you. Give, give me your ideas below and you have a blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe and um, keep your eye out for my series on when we build our green bin house.